in downtown New Orleans. This is what it looked like just a moment ago in the heart of New Orleans. Folks, there's no place for this noise to go in the Superdome. It is loud, and these What's fans up, are man? ready for What's football up? as their Saints get ready to Great do battle boy, man. with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. The kicker for the Saints, Will Lutz, has it teed up, and here we go from New Orleans. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. On first down, Rodgers. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's A.J. Klein, the linebacker. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, that's tough. You come in here, you dial up that pass play on the first play from scrimmage and get it picked. And you know coaches always talk about we prepare for every eventuality. You don't even mention this as a possibility when you dial up that play, right? Instead, they throw a pick, and now they're behind the eight ball on the road to get things going. 23 yards on the play. Opening minute and already a trip to the red zone. They've got a first and 10 from the 10. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. The 6-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Kamara trying again. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain that time and now it's third and goal. Breeze now on third and goal. Cook's got it. Touchdown, Saints. It's a six-yard touchdown pass as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Not the start that they were hoping for. The interception on the first play of the game, it leads to six points the other way. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Being chased out left. He's going to let it go deep, and this is going to be intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, he's got a man complete. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. Rodgers to his tight end, Graham, on a big one, 47 yards. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams, and that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Now Rodgers throwing again. He'll take a shot for the end zone. Got a man open. It's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams, 33 yards. As his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Extra point hugged the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And that will shave one more off this lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. 
The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out. Now it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. They stay on the ground. This time it's Kamara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. To throw is Breeze. Eluding the pressure right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown to the last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. But partner, I'm not really sure what in the world they were thinking on fourth and long there at this stage of the game. But you think social media may be firing up a little bit right now? Oh, the coach is trending right now. Right? There's no doubt about it. People wonder what that decision was. But it takes me back to a number of years ago. A very successful coach in the league had told himself before a playoff game, he was going to be aggressive. No matter what, he's going to be aggressive. And it ran his team into some real problems early, and they got upset in that playoff game. Let's see if this team can recover. Well, that's aggressive and count. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. to say maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Give them six there, but now it's third. On third down, here's Camaro. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. A tight one. 8-7 our score after one on EA Sports. So here we go on fourth down with Breeze. And Thomas has it. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. Off the play fake to Kamara. It's Breeze. Steps away. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. A really good pickup of 28 yards. On any given pass, but you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. On play action, it's Breeze. And this one complete to Smith. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 17 there and a New Orleans first down. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing where he start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. Breeze now. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Here's Breeze. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Zadarius Smith gets him for a loss of a yard, and it will bring up third down. Shotgun now for Breeze. The quick slant caught, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A five-yard touchdown. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. And now they'll empty the backfield here as
as they elect to go for two. From the gun, it's Breeze. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Well, split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time they failed there. Interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because, as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He's going to fire one deep over the middle, and that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Rodgers now going to throw again. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Eli Apple. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if you're starting through four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game. Well, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off by Jair Alexander. We'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. The first carry now for the BYU man. It's Jamal Williams. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. You know they'd love nothing more than to get a three and out here after having the interception. And it also tells you a little bit about how they feel about their leader, right? Their quarterback throws an interception in the previous series. They're trying to help him out here with a big stick. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. It's never fun for a defense to run on the field knowing that they're having to defend a short field. Just the idea of trying to limit an offense in that position, daunting for a defense. Crosby with the extra point, and we've got a tie game here in a back-and-forth first half. Tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go. Red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Flushed out right. That's complete to his running back, Camaro. And they work this well upfield across the 45. It's a gain of 35. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover, put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. Throwing on first down is Breeze. Dancing to his left. Jim has it complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. He was out there waving his arms. When you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you've got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching.
watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. A well, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So they'll walk him back half the distance. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well, and they free kick it from the 20 now. Partner, when I was in college, we used to have these things called game maxims that we did before every game. One of them said, press the kicking game. For here's where the breaks are made. It's the area of hidden yardage. How about that return? Flipping the field, taking it past the 50, and getting things set up to start the series. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Von Bell. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. Play action. Breeze. And brought in by the tight end Cook. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Now those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Back near his goal line. Here's Breeze. And can you believe it? It's a second safety in this ball game. And you know the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. A lot of points. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and ten. Just shy of the 30. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Here's second and ten now from the 29. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And Graham's got it. Complete. A first down there on a pickup yeah, to 25. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that. And having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Now a play fake here on first down. The connection made. It's Graham. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. It's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Tremendous field position there at a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. 
So back to back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in mm. field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Buying time, to, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness that defensive line is eating them alive. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He's going to throw. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Call it a three-yard game, and it'll be fourth down. So Breeze is going to stay out there, and they're going to go for this on fourth down. Now Breeze steps away to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Preston Smith. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Von Bell up to make the tackle. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third-and-two situation. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, put a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop him. And a second effort gets him in. Touchdown, Packers. A five-yard <laughs> touchdown run. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. What are you See if doing, they can man? recoup and recover. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. <laughs> and it'll make this a second and long. <laughs> I think this dude's about to quit. He's about to quit, it looks like. I think it's the losing situation hope. coming up. Back now here live in New Orleans. He 
It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. And down he'll go at the 25. They'll get 17 back there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Watch the twist. Watch the twist. The Saints do snap it. It's Breeze. And Gens got it. Fancy footwork at the 45. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Clock running under full play now as they come up on first and ten. Three's now to throw, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It appeared to me he was just trying to find an open receiver and got forced out to his right. Had to come off of a guy downfield, tried to hit his back. Unable to connect. Should have been an easier throw moving to his right there. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Let's this one rip toward Graham. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down from the 24. They'll go again on second and 10. Throwing again. Rodgers. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Eli Apple. And they finally put an end to this return, but not before he's all the way down to the 37. The number seven, usually lucky here, not for him. Seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times since 1960. And I know that the most recent time it happened, the guy... And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pick up first and ten at the 20. A good start to the drive. Here's that's caught out on the left side. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back one more time. Didn't work there. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Rodgers to throw once more. Let's this one rip toward Graham. And oh, they almost had another one. They are all over the football in this game. Nearly another pick. Now fourth down. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Rodgers going to throw. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Called out a very strong gain of 24 from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Going now is Breeze. Complete. Smith has it. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. 
course, remember, you need a touchdown right. here and right. a field goal. It doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. To throw is Breeze. On the move to his left. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Jared Cook, the tight end, was the target. And now it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Breeze. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to his running back, Alvin Kamara. And that'll make it third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Breeze now forced out to his left. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth. Didn't get it. How does that translate here, I would imagine? And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere. And that's caught inside the 35. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. On first and 10, here's Breeze. Being chased out left. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. There's Breeze. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Adrian Amos with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. offense ready to get their next drive underway and still two timeouts defensively but even if they choose to use those three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory and the most curious way there to burn some clock that was wild and at the end of all that it winds up a safety all right charles help me out here fourth quarter you've got the lead and you run backwards into the end zone you're just trying to do too much I almost don't have words for it, but you know every coach that we talk to talks about running backs or people running the football, running north-south, getting upfield. He went way in the opposite direction, and that's going to cost his team. Yeah, it cost him big time. Still leading, but it costs him. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. He's picked off in his own 47, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. looking to throw and that is incomplete two seconds left on the clock the hell man hell man and incomplete pass on first down that leads to hell a second man. and ten to throw is rogers he's gonna fire one deep over the middle this is caught inside the 15 and he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And I tell you what, I can't remember a defensive performance as good as this one. They seemingly forced turnover after turnover after turnover every time you turned around. Yeah, you just keep going with it, can't you? After turnover, after turnover. <laughs> as this game unfolded, they were doing all the dictating, right? They dealt the offense exactly how it was going to go down today. So you saw them deflate with every series, didn't you? Every time they ran onto the field, it was slower and slower to get to the football because they just felt like if we go out there, we're just going to turn it over anyway. So it was really, really a stellar performance. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from the Bayou.